Uh, my name is Iman Marcel. I'm an Egyptian poet and writer. Um, Traces of Inayat uh, um, has a story, like in the other book. Uh, in 1993, I came across a novel of Inayat. It uh, turned out that it's her only novel. And uh, it, I was haunted by the book itself. It, it's uh, so beautiful and different than you know most of Arab female writers until then. And uh, my first question was, who is Anayat and why her novel is excluded from the canon of Arabic literature? But this question uh, kept coming back to me, shifting in different ways. Uh, and in certain point, I got to know that she, is, she committed suicide in 1963, that the novel was published four uh, years later. Uh, and there was rumors that she committed suicide because uh, of the uh, refusal of publishing the book. So this was romantic and stupid at the same time <laughs> that I wanted to understand why. But actually, um, my first step was to go to the archive and I couldn't find her in the archive, in the uh, official archive. And her family, bourgeoisie family, also destroyed her papers or most of it. So, um, so I, as I usually say about this book, the absence of her in the archive is what really inspired this book. How to write, to tell a story of someone without speaking for them or um, owning their voice, but at the same time uh, searching for fragments that you can imagine a whole life, not as a model for anything, but just as a life. Uh, and uh, and the Anayati story itself was so rich that in order to understand it, you have to understand the personal uh, uh, custody law and divorce law in Egypt to understand the German education since she went to German school or worked on, on uh, um, the German Institute of Antiquities and also to understand the mental illness uh, in her uh, life. Uh, depression and the treatment of, uh, of of it in Egypt during the 50s and 60s. So this was my journey in the book and uh, the experience itself um, gave me so many gifts actually. One of them was to reconnect with Egypt after 20 years or so of my migration to Canada because uh, our map overlapped. I had to visit uh, to, to locate every place she uh, passed by and um, and even the cemetery to find her tomb and and this was for me a, a different relation with Cairo which I considered my city um, because uh, when you live a, a city like Cairo it changes a lot uh, all the time because of uh, authority because of the state decisions to change things and because of economy as well so it was my way also to um, to return to the city. In Tabatni Ragba Fil Kaswa Al Anayat, Rubama Takun Al Kaswa Hil Ihsas Al Wahid Al Lazilam Ashwar Bihi Nahwaha. Tahayeltu Zalat Anayat Tabhasan Mana Fil Kitaba, Wa Azbaha Haz Al Mana Huyataha. لم تفهم معنى قيام الدولة بصناعة مشروعات ثقافية في عهد الثورة لم تعرف أن هناك نجوما ومناضلين في السجون وخارجها ومجهولين يعرفون بعضهم وصراعات تخلط الأدب بالسياسة بالنسر حدث معها ما يحدث كثيرا ما رأيناه بعيننا يتحول الكاتب الذي لا يستطيع أن يتواصل مع الآخرين إلى بطل مسرحي تراجيدي يتضخم في عزلته إحساسه الوهمي بالظلم أو بالعظمة أو بانعدام معنى وجوده ينتهي به الأمر في منصب ثقافي أو يصبح متصوفا أو حقودا أو عصاميا متعاليا مشغولا بصورته كعصامي نزيه أو مؤيدا لسلطة من القتلة A powerful desire to treat her cruelly maybe the only feeling I hadn't yet had towards Anna yet What if I asked myself, suppose, suppose Anayet had continued to pursue her writing and that this had become her purpose identity. She had never understood what it meant for the state to engineer cultural projects in the post-revolution era, hadn't known of the celebrity artists and famous political activists inside the prisons and outside, 
and the less famous two, and the networks that connected them, and the battles in which literature and politics and publishing were won. She simply hadn't, hadn't known. What happened to Anayat happens frequently. A writer cut off from their peers is transformed into a tragic figure. Their delusions of persecution, of grandeur, of nihilistic despair, ballooning in this isolation until they finally come to what awaits them, to an appointment in some morbid cultural institution, to mysticism or bitter resentment, to the self-obsession and puritanical righteousness of the self-made, or to open support for a murderous regime.